titrations. Titration is a chemical process used to determine the concentration of an unknown acid or base, starting off with a, a known concentration of an acid or base. So for example, in this uh, particular titration that we're going to do, do, we have an unknown concentration of vinegar, 10% uh, vinegar, vinegar is acetic acid, and we have a known 0.10 molar concentration of sodium hydroxide. So we're going to use the known concentration of sodium hydroxide to determine the unknown concentration of vinegar. To get started, we are using some specialised equipment. We have got a burette. A burette is a piece of glassware which can accurately add uh, known concentrations of uh, a solution. We are going to put sodium hydroxide in our burette. The first thing we need to do is actually wash out our burette. The tap needs to be closed, which means it's going across the flow of the, uh, the fluid through the burette. So I'm just going to add a little bit of sodium hydroxide to my burette. And just open the tap, let it drain out. And just wash out any other liquid that was in the burette to start with. I'm just draining out the tap as well. Okay. So the burette is washed with the chemical that is going to go in it. just a little bit too much. I'm over the zero mark. I'm going to wash them out. You also need to make sure that you don't get any air bubbles in the bottom of the burette. So I'm just draining that out. Okay, so it's just below zero. I'm going to read, it, read the scale here at 0 0.1 mil. I'll pop that in my burette clamp. So my initial volume placing my vinegar into a conical flask. So I'm just going to get some of my vinegar here. Once again, I'm, I don't want to, uh, at this point in time, dilute my vinegar. So I'm going to pop a bit, a bit of my vinegar into my beaker here and just wash it out. I'm going to pop a bit some more vinegar in there. And I'm going to pet, pet out 10 mil using a bowl pipette. The pipette needs to be washed out with the liquid that's going in it. I don't want to adjust its, change its concentration either. So I'm going to draw up some of my vinegar solution into my pipette. Let it drain out and also wash out my pipette with the solution that's going into it which is in this case my vinegar solution. Just let that drain out. I'm just touch to the side of the beaker to draw the last couple of drops. And it's ready to go. So okay, once it's past the mark, I'll just take off the pipette filler. Use your thumb, make sure you don't have any parallax error to get the meniscus, bottom of the meniscus on the line. And you can add that to your conical flask. Once you've been towards the end of draining your bowl with pipette, you can touch the side, touch the end of the pipette to the side of the flask, and that draws out just a little bit more of the liquid. You are left with a tiny bit of liquid in the bottom of the bowl pipette. 
It is designed to be there. So that's 10 mil once that, with that still remaining there. The indicator I'm using today is phenolphthalein. Just adding two drops of phenolphthalein to my vinegar. Right. The process now is to add the sodium hydroxide from the burette into the, the flask containing my vinegar until we have a colour change. Phenolphthalein changes from clear to pink when it goes from acid to base. So I'm just adding adding my sodium hydroxide by opening up the tap and just twirling it around. closer you are, you know you are to the, the end of the titration. I'm going to use a wash bottle to wash around the edges of my conical flask just to wash down any splash sodium hydroxide. I can do that even though I'm changing the concentration of the acetic acid in here by adding extra water, I'm not actually changing that number of moles of acetic acid added. Now I know that I added 10 ml of the acid and I can work, calculate the number of moles through this whole process, so it's quite okay to add extra water to your conical flask. Now, I was very close then, so I'm just going to add just a drop by drop. It's really in between each. It's very, very close. until I get a permanent colour change. Now I have a piece of white paper underneath the burette, which actually helps me see the colour change. Sometimes it can be useful to look through the actual liquid, directly through. You can uh, see the, the colour change a little bit better. I'm not sure if it's, you can see on the uh, video, I do have a permanent colour change there, very slight one. I'm going to add just a little bit more colour just so that it is a bit more visible. One more drop will do. Okay. There I have got a definite pink colour, which means that I have reached my equivalence point for this titration, which will be explained at a later stage. I would now measure my amount of sodium hydroxide. I'm now down to 9.2 mil. within about 0.1 of a mil of each other. That's it.